I wasn't planning on doing a video on uh, on this guy, but after a little bit of poking around, I believe I will. Um, so I just picked this up uh, this morning off of Facebook Marketplace. Got a pretty good deal on it. It's a fourth generation i5. It's got a 4750. I can't remember now. Uh, but I just really like Fujitsu. It's just a really nice look. Plus, you know, made in Germany. Uh, this is an El Primo E720 E85 Plus N. I have no idea what that means. But that's the model. Oh, S Primo, not El Primo. Excuse me. <coughs> One silly little thing I like about it is uh, it has no feet on the sides. So kind of an equivalent machine to compare it to oh jeez is uh this little optiflex 3010 kind of a similar class it's a little bit smaller uh, they do make a, a bigger size but see it's got feet on the side it can be a tower i don't like that i like that this is purely a desktop um but something i immediately noticed when i got this in the car and was taking it home is uh, it's kind of hard to get into so on the Dell, you see this big old handle, he just pops open. Uh, on the Fujitsu, let me this, trying to do this one-handed. Oh gosh, and I got a creaky chair. There's no latches, so no latches on the sides. Um, if I go around to the back, I see a pretty standard complement of ports. I do appreciate the traditional DVI as well as DisplayPort. Only two USB 3 ports is a little bit uh, stingy, though. Having a power switch is nice. But I just could not figure it out. Um, and uh, just it took, took a while. And then I was looking at some pictures, and I noticed that other units have a little plastic thing here on the back. And I thought, you know what? I bet that's the latch. So I started poking at it, and sure enough, I get my fingernail in here. I can slide it. And if I get a screwdriver in there, I can slide it even better. So that is obviously not how it's intended to be used. Uh, my unit is missing this, which I don't really mind. It's not that hard to get into. Um, well, I say that, I'm trying to do this one-handed. I'm going to use my phone hand to pull this forward. Oh. Yeah, that's another thing that's interesting, is that the chassis slides forward, and it takes the faceplate with it. That's another little little bit of a difference. I'll uh, go ahead and detach that. Ooh, oh gosh. Ta -da. I'm also kind of doing this because I couldn't find any videos on this thing online. But anyway, so here we go. Pretty standard insides. That, however, is weird. I have never seen a little cowling like that on the bottom of a heatsink. So I'm, I'm going to take that off here because I always like to put new thermal paste on these computers, but that's weird. Uh, it has the nice traditional green accent uh, of Fujitsu machines, which I really appreciate, though I wish it were on the outside, not just the inside. This drive I don't think is original. Oh goodness, that's hard to pull out. It's very stiff. I got it like halfway out earlier working with both hands, but... Um, you know, we got an optical drive over there, nice big power supply, not ATX, um, it is dusty, you got a nice little dust bunny right there, um, two X16 slots, two X1 slots, that's nice, parallel, USB ports, um, it looks, USB 1, 2X, that's interesting. Boy, there are a lot of internal USB ports. I was hoping maybe that was a USB 3 header, but I don't think so. Looks like that's drive power. Not seeing anything else interesting. <clears throat> but this hinges up, which is always nice. So right there we've got um, primary system fan. Really easy access to the headers on uh, the front panel board, which is nice. Um teensy little speaker like other business machines built-in speaker um, looks like INTR I guess internal fan you could have another fan 
I imagine this uh, this board had a a full power option. So the PCI slot cover is a pretty typical just hinged deal. All right, well let's let's do two things. One, I want to get this drive all the way out of here, which I might be able to do if I brace. Oh, uh, nope, I'm gonna set the phone down. This thing is just stiff, and I don't know if it's the design. Yeah, this is definitely not uh, not original. This is a Dell drive by Central Logic Inc. Let's see, 500 gigs. Yeah, this will not be staying. I'm gonna get rid of this. I mean, I'll keep it in my pile of hard drives, but you know, and of course, nice little green rails. All right, <clears throat> so the hard drive is pulled. I don't love. I guess I could fit another hard drive right there. You know, presumably that would be like a media card reader. I've noticed a, a couple other bay options for that. All right, but let's focus on the heatsink. Uh, somewhere, got my handy dandy screwdriver. I'm not doing it in a star pattern. These screws have some serious travel. And I think that's done it. Nope, it's all still this one. So, it just looks like, oh, it has a little fan in there. Of course it has a fan in there. Jeez, gosh, I'm, I'm just so used to the fan being on the back. So that's really curious. It has a little two-part heat sink. I'm used to seeing that in bigger machines like this, but not so much little guys like this. So... Okay, one, the thermal paste is totally crusty. Not surprising. But seeing an all solid uh, copper heat spreader is nice. But what on earth? I don't really get it. I mean, it's like, okay, so the system fan would blow straight across the back. I mean, this, it's like a third of the fan. I mean, yeah, there's going to be a lot of heat on those four pipes right there. But it can't go up. It makes sense if there's a way for the heat to escape the back, but, you know, this is sitting just like this. Air, as the arrow indicates, is coming straight in here. You know, it's almost like this is preventing heat from these heat pipes from escaping. And it's forcing the heat to go up and out of the back of the heat sink. That is so interesting. I've never seen anything like that. Let's, uh, and I haven't even powered the system on yet, so. It is. Yep, a 4570. Okay, that's what I thought. And I might, if I can find a 4770, just have a little bit of i7 action in here. And I've got some alcohol over here, too. Uh, one 4-gig stick of RAM. I kind of thought it had 8 gigs, but maybe I'm misremembering. But honestly, I don't really care. I got a good deal on this machine. so. But 4 slots is nice. Um, so I'll probably very comfortably just bump that up to 16 gigs and call it a day. Um, I am going to dust it out because it's kind of gross. Um, 
Yeah, I'm gonna dust it out. I'm gonna replace that drive. Um, let's see. 250 watts. Okay, that's not bad. You know, of course, you're not going to be putting anything really hefty in here anyway, so it doesn't much matter. Oh, I love this. The SATA cable for the optical drive is all the way down here, over here, over here, over here, over here, down, 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 dupe, and then SATA cables. Wow, that's nice, though. Having three open. Usually machines in this class only have four, um, which makes me wonder. They're not marked. Sorry for the bad shot here. Um, every once in a while, those are uh, like you have one for an eSATA connector, <clears throat> though it's less common. But, yeah, cool. So my plan, I ordered a, where is it? I apologize for the, again, the bad shot. I'm not putting a lot of effort into this. Aha! Here we go. I ordered a... Uh, another IO scale drive and I foolishly didn't notice that it only has the half height bracket and nobody sells just the bracket for these drives. It's simple enough, but I also don't want it just wobbling without a bracket. So the plan is, uh, I'm pretty, oh, man, those are stiff. Those have definitely never come out of there, which, you know, why would they? You know, just pop this bad boy. Right in here. Oh, stiff, stiff, stiff. Or something slightly out of alignment. And yeah, that little tab, I might just need to push it forwards. The um, <clears throat> the ESD framing in here is poking out pretty good, so it's it's pretty pretty stiff. Anyway, uh, that's the plan. To make this uh, probably more of a server, less of a desktop, um, with with that drive in it. So, uh, yeah. I might make another video. Probably not. I just kind of wanted to go over the internals of this thing, and how I got it open, and just a few little interesting bits about it. Especially that heat sink. That is wacky. So, Alright, time to clean it up.